The great mistake of modern civilization is to encroach upon others' property as though it were one's own, and to thereby create an unnecessary disturbance of the laws of nature. These laws are very strong. No living entity can violate them. Only one who is Krishna conscious can easily overcome the stringency of the laws of nature and thus become happy and peaceful in the world. As a state is protected by the Department of Law and Order, so the state of the universe, of which this earth is only an insignificant fragment, is protected by the laws of nature. This material nature is one of the different potencies of God, who is the ultimate proprietor of everything that be. This earth, therefore, is the property of God, but we, the living entities, especially the so-called civilized human beings, are claiming God's property as our own under both an individual and collective false conception. If you want peace, you have to remove this false conception from your mind and from the world. This false claim of proprietorship by the human race on earth is partly or wholly the cause of all disturbances of peace on earth. Foolish and so-called civilized men are claiming proprietary rights on the property of God because they have now become godless. You cannot be happy and peaceful in a godless society. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says that he is the factual enjoyer of all activities of living entities, that he is the supreme lord of all the universes, and that he is the well-wishing friend of all beings. When the people of the world know this as the formula for peace, it is then and there that peace will prevail. Therefore, if you want peace at all, you will have to change your consciousness into Krishna consciousness, both individually and collectively, by the simple process of chanting the holy name of God. This is a standard and recognized process for achieving peace in the world. We therefore recommend that everyone become Krishna conscious by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This is practical, simple, and sublime. 480 years ago, this formula was introduced in India by Lord Sri Chaitanya, and it is now available in your country. Take to this simple process of chanting as above mentioned and realize your factual position by re reading the Bhagavad Gita as it is and reestablish your lost relationship with Krishna, God. Peace and prosperity will be the immediate worldwide result.